Well, coming off back-to-back 20-win -back seasons and three straight conference titles, Big Fort girls basketball returns everyone from last year's section runner-up team. They're once again off to a good start this season, and this experienced core is ready to make some noise. For Big Fork, it's been business as usual this season. Ranked number four in Class 1A and off to an 11 in one start. We've done a pretty good job most of the year. We run the court hard, the girls play hard. Uh, they have a lot of fun together and, and they're really a good bunch to work with. And everyone returns from last year's 27 win team, including a core of four seniors that brings a lot of experience. I've been playing since fourth grade so that helps because we, we play as a team and it's easier to play together and stuff and our goal is always to beat every team and be undefeated in like Northern Lake Championships. And they're getting it done on both ends of the court with a stifling defense holding opponents to 37 points a game and an offense that can attack you in many different ways. It's good that we all can score because a team doesn't know who to guard and if someone's having an off night, there's someone that you know that's going to be on so the other team can't really prepare who's going to be on that night or who to guard really tight. And they're motivated to get over the hump in their section, hoping to get another crack at defending 7A champs Mountain Iron Buell. They're well coached, they're fundamentally sound and you know that's what we're trying to get and you know they're the champions until somebody knocks them off and that's what we're trying to do. So with high expectations this experience group is focused on taking it day by day but still with their goals in mind. We want to get be conference champs again and hopefully be section finals to go to the state championship. It's kind of been our dream since we were little and stuff and then last year like this close and just really want it this year. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.